Hey guys, I was asked about my encoding settings when I edit and uh, my project settings and so on. So I thought I could make a short video where I show how I record, what program I use and uh, how it looks when I edit, when, what settings I use and how I encode. So um, I'm using Mo Movie Studio 13. This is the Steam version, so I bought it on Steam and it is quite easy, you do it and then you download it. I'm not sure if I would recommend this since you have some limitations, for example, it's it doesn't support several, several instances at the same time, for example, there's a workaround but it isn't very good, it's a little unstable I think. Um, it's not being updated uh, to support the latest graphics cards. For example, my new NVIDIA GTX 970 is not supported. So my old Radeon, what was it? HD 6850, which is like three years older than the current one, had a lot better editing performance and encoding performance than I have now. So that's a drawback, but I really can't blame Movie Studio, but it's something that you should keep in mind when you pick your editing software, make sure it's compatible to your hardware. It is important. For example, I can, I can just quickly show that uh, when we go into, where is it? Yeah, right here. GPU acceleration of video processing. I can select this, but it doesn't work. My performance is, well, it's as bad as only CPU powered. So don't be fooled. So I'm just turning that off to have a better, to make sure I'm compatible. So enough about that. You have, perhaps you have Movie Studio now and you want to uh, encode something. So let's let's record something. And I'll switch to full screen here. Okay, so here we are in a new world. I'm running this at, I don't know, I'm recording at 60 FPS anyway, so it should look quite smooth. Uh, but this is how it looks. So, whoop, a bit of lag here. Perhaps some world generation lag still. I just started a new world. Anyway, now we have some footage, let's head in to uh, Movie Studio to uh, do some edi editing and encoding. Okay, so we're back. So now let's take a look at what we have. As you can see here, this is... All right, I'm using Bandicam. Um, so now I'm recording again. Works pretty, pretty great, actually. Mm, let's see, settings, I'm just using the normal settings here, I think, but for video I'm recording for in MP4, I would like to do it in AVI, but MP4 works better. Full size, 60 FPS, H.264 codec with 100% quality, I think it's quite good anyway. So that's how it looks, we are recording, we are outputting, let me remove that, we are outputting to, uh, to a file here. So if we just go back to Movie Studio, my standard project setting is a custom full HD 60 FPS. So this is what you have in project properties, 1920 times 1080. 60 frames per second, none, one, and no 3D mode. And make sure we have it in best quality, no deinterlace. And let's see if there's anything else important here. No, this is not, uh, not very important. All right, let's go back to the and set some Give us some video. Now it's not recording 
I set this to set this to 60 FPS, but it's not really 60 FPS in my footage. I don't know why. It's not a problem. If I change it, it turns out to be 56. I don't know if it's on averaging that Bandicam does, but I don't want to do that. So let's undo that and just place it back in. So this is how I usually do it. And then we have, let's see, if it play this, does it work well? Okay, so here we are in a new world. I'm running this at, I don't know. Okay, it seems to be working. For some performance increase, do the preview in like in a draft mode or perhaps draft half. I'm recording at 60 FPS anyway. Well, something like that. It depends on your machine, it depends on your hardware. When I had my old graphics card, this wasn't a problem. I could use some preview order like this. So it should look quite smooth. And it worked well in every yeah. game, but well, it goes up, up and down actually. And then you do your editing. Then I make sure to always switch this, disable resample of this. Um, I've been noticing that your, the quality is better. The, uh, especially when I do the speed play series, then it's a huge difference. Because then I perhaps record in 30 FPS and then I run it in four times the speed. And then it looks really strange if I don't do the, uh, the, the disable resample. So um, I recommend doing this. I think just all my videos look better. What's next? Well, as you can see, we have two audio tracks. Now I didn't do anything in the video. That was kind of stupid, but this is the game sound and this is the microphone sound. That's a setting I have in, let's see, where is it in Bandicam? Here. So if we click this box, then we'll have only one sound uh, soundtrack. That's um, I prefer have it this way because it's just so much more convenient. I don't need to do a lot of audio settings before, so or change uh, volumes and such. I can just record and then I can handle this in editing mode. So much easier. It saves me a lot of time. Uh, so then we can do our editing, whatever we can, uh, we can fade in, perhaps we do like, like this and then we'd fade out, we could perhaps trim the end, trim the start, do like this. Okay, so that's our entire video, fine. And we have edited everything, we have Project settings is fine. If you change this to some other format, like a 4 to 3 format, like this one, then you will have black bars and you need to uh, remap or match the source. You, I think you do it in, in here. Then you can match your aspect. So for example, if I have a, a photo that's 4 times 3, and I in implement it as insert it, then it will be, I have black bars here and here. If I change that to the, out, the aspect ra ratio, then uh, it will automatically be cut on top. It will be stretched out, not stretched. It will be fitted to screen and have uh, parts of it cut away. So make sure that the if you're recording in 1080p, then the project should be 1080p. And nowadays with YouTube, everything should be at least in widescreen format. Okay, let's move on. I think we can just skip the rest. The, the, the project settings, it's, it's a basics. And when you have a good project template, then you save it and you use it for all your projects. At times I use Let's see, do I have some other one? No, I have no other prepared. I could have one for 1080p 30 FPS and I have one template for 720p 
and so on. So we can have like four templates that I can switch between depending on what I'm recording. But mostly I will record in exactly this format. Make sure to change your output level as well. I, sometimes I forget this, so some of my videos are are very quiet. It's because sometimes I forget to, to change this so that um, not all my templates are prepared. Now we have some footage. Let's head in to uh, Movie Studio. So it should match and you should never be too high. All right, now let's make a movie. Save it to hard drive and go to advanced options. So here I have used two different things. For some time I used the main concept. Then you prepare your, well, your, your templates here as well. This is your encoding template. I played around a lot with, with the different bit rates and settings. And I think I have, I have a few that I switch between depending on what game it is. Minecraft is not, you don't need too high bitrate, somewhere between 10 and 12 megabit per second is uh, usually fine, depending on what codec you have, it looks perfectly fine. Some people claim that you should have higher, but for Minecraft it's not really, you don't really gain that much. For other games that has much more details, perhaps you should run it in higher. Then there's, of course, if I currently I have very bad upload speed, so I don't want my videos to be too large. For example, a 25 minute video will perhaps be two and a half gigabytes in size, and it takes me quite a long time to upload those things. That's also also important. Um, okay, so the main concept is a quite stable one. It has good quality and everything. And I can just go through. Yeah, this is one I used for my Battlefield series. I wanted to really boost the, the quality as, as much as I could. And I think this one is the one I used for a lot of the other videos. So we can take a look at this. This is what comes with Movie Studio. You have YouTube, uh, let's see where we begin. Here we begin. This is of course important to match every, everything else that you have set. Frame rate, profile high. We should have no field order, order and pixel aspect ratio, the same as we had before. And then we come to this. This is the most important part. Now I'm using just a four average 12 megabit with a peak at 14. It's these values are very rough. And I only do one pass. I, I don't think the extra quality you gain is worth it, but you should try yourself and uh, and and see what what works for you with your video content, of course. And if you have a GPU that is supported, then you should use OpenCL or CUDA. This, uh, my, my system says that it's okay, but when I try to use it, I would, and I'm not alone, <laughs> trust me, uh, it doesn't work. It's only using CPU, regardless if I set CUDA, and I check here, CUDA is available, CUDA, I change the system settings or the, the movie studio settings, no difference. So my graphics card is not supported, but my old one was, so CPU only. Let's not confuse it. Audio, set it to some appropriate bitrate, and uh, I think this is quite fine. MP4, project, video rendering best, and just use project settings. So that's why I use. So we can, uh, yeah, let's just try to do this. No, let's not. So the other one I'm using that I'm have been using more and more is x264 let's see here you go to video for windows make a new template or you take one old and then you modify it 
So this is what I'm using for most of my videos now. I think the quality is slightly better than using the main concept. The encoding speed is shorter and, uh, and, and some of the, well, the quality is better and like flat areas that are shifting slightly in colors. It's very hard to explain, but different types of uh, graphics will work better with, well, the different codecs. But I think this one is actually the, the best one I've used. There's a download link in the description to the X264 codec pack. And it looks very much the same, at least here. Full HD, 60 FPS, pixel aspect. And then you come to the tricky part. As you can see here, we have video format. You can switch between different ones. I'm using now the X264 VFW. It's also H.264 and codec as the other ones are, but it seems to be slightly different. And as I said, I think the quality is better. The file size is more efficient. If I have the, at the same bit rate, I will get better quality with uh, X X264. So here are my settings. Preset medium is basically, medium is, uh, I think it's quite fine. I'm not an expert, read somewhere else about this. These are just the settings I use. High profile, 420 in, uh, in this setting, and I'm just setting average 12 megabit. Single pass as well. Normally the videos will end up at perhaps a stand, well, what can you say, an average 13 megabit, perhaps. I don't know if that's counting the the audio as well, but anyway, you, well, you see for yourself what settings I have. No extra command line, nothing strange, use this and it will actually be quite fine. And then tweak around if you need to, but just start with this and it will probably look quite okay. So let's switch, use this one and render it. So this is a 30 second video. It will take me roughly one and a half, two minutes to do this. So I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so it's coming up. It was, uh, I had to turn off the cam to make it go faster. I think one and a half minute or slightly below that would have been uh, enough, but it was slowed down due to the recording at the same time. Okay, it's done. So let's take a look at it. I just moved it here in my, in the same folder as I have all the other files. I'm currently recording and the raw material. So as you can see, those 30 seconds ended up as, or 36 seconds was roughly 300 megabytes. This is recorded using the NVIDIA ENCODE, uh, what's it called? NVENC. It's quite heavily encoded, so the it doesn't end up as uh, two large files. And here is the final result. It's 50 megabytes for 30 seconds. And if you play it... Okay, so here we are in a new world. It looks like this. I'm running this at... Fine, I, I will... I'm recording uh, at 60 FPS anyway. I will have this at the end of this video, perhaps. Will it be encoded once again? Oh, anyway. And we can actually check it if we take our media info and we check that. Then we can see that we have an X264 codec. It seems to be running at overall bitrate 12.5 megabit per second. So the video is slightly below 12 megabits, but, and then the audio and well, there you have it. So basically these are my settings. I hope this helps anyone who wants to record and try out settings or just learn how it works. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.